Hey, YTPC. Haven't done one of these in a while. I've, I've got a few tobaccos where I'm getting to the end of the tins. So, uh, that's what this is going to be, is a end of the tin review. I'm smoking my Cobbit from Missouri Mearsham. I had bought this off of uh, somebody, so they had grounded the bottom off. I guess that kind of came to like a point. So we ground it down to uh, that would be oh maybe like a sitter, which is kind of cool. And I'm drinking. I think I might have showed this one before. I'm not sure, but it's a Edmund Fitzgerald. Porter by Great Lakes Brewing. So, not too bad, pretty tasty. It's kind of malty. Um, kind of, uh, I don't know, cocoa Some coffee, maybe. Anyways, I'm smoking. Captain Black Original. Now, I picked this, picked this pouch up from a local, I don't know, Low Bob's or Discount Tobacco Shop or something. Because it is... Anywhere you, I mean, you can go to a gas station if they have pipe tobacco and stuff. You can, you can pick up a pouch. So it's probably, probably like the most sold tobacco. Um, but I picked it up. So first Captain Black blend that I tried uh, was gold. I think it's called Royalty, maybe. Or Captain Black Gold, I don't know, but it was, I guess, got a lot of tongue bite and everything, and I just wasn't, didn't really enjoy it a whole lot. But I kept hearing about, like, the Captain Black original, and how it was pretty decent, pretty good, no, excuse me, pretty good codger. So I picked up a pouch, and I smoked it probably every day for, like, a week at least. And then I was trying to save, uh, save at least a bowl or so, so I could do this video. And so I've been trying to go through, um, going through some tobaccos that I have just maybe a little bit left, and trying to get those smoked. And I'll probably be doing a lot of these, uh, these videos. But it's, uh, you know, really mild. Um, good uh like sweet flavor like uh you, like your when you think of like your grandpa smoking a pipe when you're younger this is the smell that you would get but it, you would remember um hardly any tongue bite at all it kind of gives you a nice like coating in your mouth but really no tongue bite That week I smoked it every day. I didn't experience any tongue bite at all. And I remember smoking it on the way to work one time. I go into work and a uh, guy I work with, he's not a pipe smoker, but I'm sure he's probably dabbled in it before. And he's, uh, I'm talking to him and he goes, is that Cavendish? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> he's like, that smelled good or something like that, but it was kind of funny. It is a, um, so it's made by Lane Limited now. 
and blended by Lane Limited. I'm not sure if that's how it always has been or what, but it's an aromatic. Uh, Black Cavendish, Burley Cavendish, and Virginia. There is um, other and miscellaneous uh, flavoring than vanilla. It's a coarse cut, but it's easy to pack. I mean, you can, that's why I like about the pouches. You just put your pipe right in the pouch, pack your pipe. Anything that falls will just fall right back into the pouch. But yeah, it comes with the one and a half ounce pouches or the 12 ounce tin. So. Definitely decent tobacco. I'm not sure if I would ever buy any more just because there's a lot of other tobaccos that I enjoy. I, I got this mainly just to just to try it and see see what it was like. Um, I did hear that 1Q is a lot like... Maybe it's not the original Captain Black, but one of the Captain Blacks, 1Q, is a lot, was a lot like it. Might be the royalty or the blue. I don't know. Yeah, it's a uh, has a two two point five star review out of four stars on tobacco reviews. Um, yeah, it was like. 496 reviews on it <laughs> but uh it's uh it's it's decent it's a it's a good tobacco to have maybe a pouch of it like in your car like in the glove box with a cob or something just for like you know emergency kind of thing or taking it while you're going hunting or not hunting I mean maybe hunting I don't know I always feel like if you go hunting and you smoke a pipe it's you know, you don't, you don't want whatever you're hunting to like run away from you. And I feel like pipe smoke and the smell might deter things away. But fishing, stuff like that, um, you'd be a good, uh, yeah, good blend just to kind of take going hiking or whatever. But uh, it's pretty moist out of the pouch. Even even now, I mean, it's been in the pouch for seven months, six months, and this is a little bit still pretty moist. But, uh, but yeah, it's a definitely enjoyable blend. Nothing uh, nothing wrong with it. I mean, people you, know, you got the snobs that are kind of like, uh, Captain Black is you know not good tobacco, but it's it's decent. I mean, there's there's a reason why it's still sold and why. It, it's like probably the top tobacco that's sold so anyways I'm running out of time on my on my phone I didn't I need to delete some old videos and stuff and uh but hope you guys are having a good week I got some more videos coming out probably this week that I'm gonna be working on so uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one